Hey, what up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I have a really, really cool mod for RimWorld Beta 18 over here, and it's called Clone Bay, made by Go to Quiche, who I haven't actually seen his name around very much, but this is an awesome mod that allows you to save a copy of your pawn and have them be reborn. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how that works right here. So let me bring in the firing squad. Cool. So as you can see, I have my pawn over here, Barky. We're going to take three of these guys and just shoot him to death, pretty much. He dies eventually and then you can see this light over here has actually started to move so we can zoom in on it and as you can see zoom 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 it is finished up over here and i can click open and we can actually open it up and bring out a fresh copy of myself which is really crazy so as you can see this the pawn is a little bit different to the original one so i gave everyone 20 to all stats over here just to show off the sort of degradation you get when you make a copy of yourself but you can see the degradation that's happened so we've lost seven between three to 20 levels in everything which is just crazy um but i think as for balance i'll get the balance at the end of the video but it is pretty crazy so yeah so how this works is you save a copy of yourself in this machine called the pheno drill and then once you've done that doing this once he's done vomiting i'll show you so he gets his arm punctured then the vino drill saves him so it's a scan target barky the scientist progress at 15 percent it's increasing and then it saves me so it has scan now so i actually i think i have two barkies yeah okay so you have two of them scan now which is pretty cool and then i fill this up over here with a body using this meat grinder and you can actually use bodies with this but i just had human meat which just works fine so as you can see i'm carrying the old me into this grinder well it's using some meat so i can unsuspend this quickly you can see the amino acid you get over here so my guy is actually pretty weak right now carrying capacity at three which is just insane body size 0.2 so there's quite a few downsides to actually doing this We're just feeding in a ton of amino acid right now. Set it to 25. But that is pretty much the mod. A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people being angry about the fact that you can't make a true clone army. And that is the truth. You cannot make a true clone army with this mod right now. What it does is it saves your pawn and when they die, it rebuilds them. Which seems to be the design of the mod. But what a lot of people wanted to see was to actually have their own pawn be made. Which I think is... Pretty interesting that's an interesting idea as well but how do you balance that sort of thing so anyways what this mod does in its purest form is adding three buildings to the mystic tab which let me get by enabling god mode and you have the clone vat which you connect up to a pheno drill and then a meat grinder attaching to this so you can do it like that and then you fill up the meat grinder which gives you amino acid once you have enough amino acid you can actually use the clone vat which stores your pawn in it after giving the DNA to the phenodrill and then once they die it actually rebuilds them which is really cool it's really cool and that is basically it it's very simple you can give it normal meat or you can give it actual corpses it's divided into two different things so you can say 25 or 75 and it saves pr it, it makes the game really really interesting I think because it makes pawns sort of not that much of a commodity in in a sense I which I sort of like I sort of don't like so if we talk about balance i don't think this is very balanced but at the same time the i don't think you should keep your bionics if there was a way to keep synthetic lungs and stuff like that like body parts which are designed to look like actual human body parts then that would make sense but a big piece of metal being regrown seems a little bit ridiculous to me because what you can effectively do is put bionic body parts on a pawn kill the pawn get him rebuilt harvest them kill him Get him rebuilt, harvest them, get him rebuilt, kill him, harvest again and again and again. And you'll have unlimited bionic parts with that just by using a little bit of meat. Which doesn't make sense to me, to be completely honest. Especially when you can collect the clothes they drop. Also, I think pawns in Rimbled are meant to be a very rare commodity that you're supposed to use. In my opinion, I think that that's supposed to be one of the biggest draws of the game is to want to save pawns. Now, what I don't think is a bad idea is the ability to make your own pawns at will. So, for example, if I wanted to clone Akbar's, I could clone him. And it would work out fine. 
but he wouldn't keep any of his bionic body parts, it would just be his body, and maybe the stats can drop too. Um, I don't think you should drop that much in everything, I think it should more be... I think, yeah, I think crafting an intellectual, and anything that takes a brain, like medicine, I think that should be dropped. But shooting and stuff like that, it's relatively simple to aim a crosshair at someone and pull the trigger, you know? That's just my opinion though. Um, I'd like to hear how you guys would like to see this be balanced. It would be interesting to hear that kind of thing. I definitely do hope the mod maker adds a like an editable option in the mod settings like over here that allows you to change it so that you can just clone people. Because that would be really awesome. I'd definitely pick this up if you could do that. Would be really cool. Anyways, you can't build this from the get-go. You do need research to actually get it done, which is lighter than fast, clone bay, and these three over here. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.